Uh, that's right, thousands of people from all over the globe flood into our city on a daily basis. And when one of them brings an infectious disease, it puts us all at risk. That actually happened recently at Treasure Island on the Strip. Uh, and officials here at the Health District, well, their message is clear. They're saying make sure your vaccinations are up to date. The Southern Nevada Health District and the CDC have a warning for Valley residents. In the past six months, there have been two confirmed cases of the measles here in Las Vegas. This warning comes amid one of the largest measles outbreaks in the country since the year 2000. According to the CDC, there are 465 cases of the measles in 19 different states already just this year. In recent months and in recent years, we've seen a resurgence here in the United States. Joseph Iser with the Health District says Las Vegas is extremely susceptible to rare viruses and diseases like the measles because of how many tourists flow through our city on a daily basis. Old adage, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. This is the way I rephrase it, is that what happens in Vegas comes to Vegas. The last confirmed case of the measles in Las Vegas was someone from overseas, and that person potentially exposed thousands of people at the Treasure Island Hotel on the Strip. In this case, that's likely how it happened, too, is that people were either on vacation or people were here vacationing and exposed uh, our residents. Measles is spread through the air by coughing and sneezing, and if untreated, it can turn deadly. Both the CDC and the health district are now urging people to make sure your family's vaccinations are up to date. It's very infectious. Mm -hmm. So what we recommend is that if you think your child might have been exposed, call your doctor before you go there, because otherwise you'll be exposing other kids and maybe non-immunized adults. And now measles is one of the most contagious diseases around. Doctors say that while no vaccine is 100% effective, they say you should still get vaccinated because uh, you have a, a, you're more likely to not uh, get measles if you have that vaccination, even when you're exposed to it. I'm reporting live from the Southern Nevada Health District. Gabby Hart, News 3. Good advice. Hopefully people will hear.